good morning to all of you welcome to jurisprudence class friends i have seen a question maybe in the year 2015 or so but anyway it is an interesting question that's why make a, i am willing to make a video question is like this a pregnant woman was injured in a train accident she gave birth to a premature baby after a majority the boy wants to file a case whether it can be allowed or not you know a minor cannot directly file a case a minor can file a case through his relative or through his minor through his guardian or next friend only so as a child yes you have to respect the child very recently you have made so many videos on the child labor child protection child abuse all these things i studied also i discussed the famous child labor activist mr amar lal who was himself a child labor or a sufferer and now become an activist so every child in this country is treated as the asset of the nation of course the ch child or child protection is governed by rules and regulations prevailing so please remember minors cannot file the suit but they can file it through my so called next friend or guardian here the problem is he was given premature baby she has given birth to a premature baby the boy luckily survived now after majority he wants to file the case yes he can no also so two case laws are there i am giving the two case laws so walker versus great northern railways 1913 not now walker versus great northern railways 1913 in this case a pregnant woman was injured due to a train accident as a result of which her child was born but with defect with defect or deform deformation like uh, uh, legs kontha mandi purtaru atla pillal accident aina appudu sadaga gudukune appudike deformities congenital deformities anta vaatni he was born with a congenital deformity so tarvata andarki chepparu chaala mandi evare me aa roju accident ayinan valla mee madara accident kudupulo itla ayi you have become like this anje chepparu varike he filed a case against the railways please remember the court held that minor cannot maintain a remedy for the injury sustained while he was in the mother's womb and so it is not a transfer of property act suppose if it is a transfer of property act yes you can transfer the property to the child in the womb maybe section 13 or 17 of the tp act but here when you receive the injuries that to how the incident took place the woman was crossing the railway track she herself is a trespasser you are not supposed to cross the railway track and she herself has done that and that too when the boy became crippled due to the accident railways are not responsible because she herself is a trespasser so very good defense so jurisprudence says un unjust enrichment cannot be allowed even by the railways also so mother was since the mother was crossing the track and incident happened no compensation of course now the rules have changed railway tribunals act railway claims tribunal act has come railway criminal whenever any person dies please remember if he is a bona fide passenger then definitely 9 lakhs compensation will be given అందుకనే కొంతమంది లాయర్లు చెడు తెలుసుకోండి చేయకండి కొంతమంది లాయర్లు ఎవరినో ఇలాంటి వాడు చనిపోతే బెగ్గర్ ఇలాంటి వాడు చనిపోతే వాడి జేబులో టికెట్ పెట్టి ఏదో పేరు పెట్టి డబ్బును వసూలు చేసే బ్యాచ్ చాలా ఉన్నారు ఇది పెద్ద ర్యాకెట్ దీనికి క్లెయిమ్స్ ట్రిబ్యునల్ ఉండే మెంబర్స్ కూడా సపోర్ట్ చేసే సంఘటనలు నాకు తెలుసు ఏదైనా సందర్భించడం దాని గురించి చేద్దాం బ్యాడ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ కాబట్టి తెలుసుకోండి చాలు కానీ అలాంటివి ఫాలో కాకండి ఇక రెండో కేసు గమ్మతన్ కేసు చూడండి ప్రకాష్ అదర్స్ వర్సెస్ అరుణ్ కుమార్ సైని Prakash and others versus Arun Kumar Saini and others 2010. Right. So actually here same case. On 8-6-2008 an accident occurred to a housewife. That is uh, uh, Prakash wife. 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 Right. So she died in the accident. And actually they filed claim for compensation. You know according to section 150, 166 of the MA Act we filed the compensation. They filed. ultimately it is surprising to note that the pm certificate did not disclose that she was pregnant the claim is that she was pregnant she lost the boy we have to get compensation please remember 
So the PMC did not disclose fetus in the uterus. No fetus in the uterus. claim So compensation, of course, because she died, she got the compensation. Because she was fetus is not there, the compensation is reduced for giving a wrong information. So these two case laws will be sufficient. Please remember, a minor cannot file a case. Of course, after becoming a major, he can file a case. But when he was in the mother's womb, it's not accepted. Negative example, both of them will become a negative example. So if at all such case comes, please be prepared to answer the same. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.